Hey y'all, hey, what's going on? Hey, hi, hello. I'm mad cause I'm cute and y'all can't see it. I got on my little business pants or whatever. Hey girl, hi, hi. Um, so I just got done talking with the, um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> some soup. I'm still, hold on y'all, let me, because I'm still in presenter, like, speaker mode. Um, I really hate that this is like this. Oh. And I'm at a stoplight, so calm your tits. I wonder if I can put her, if I can put she. I don't know if she gonna stay, though. That's the thing. Oh, shit, she might. Okay, I'm gonna try this and hope like hell it don't fall. I feel like it's gonna fall. I definitely feel like it's gonna fall. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Oh, I can't wait till I can get another. Get in my new vehicle with a new caramel, car caramel, caramel, all that. Baby, this eyelash ain't ain't working right with me. <sighs> okay, but yeah, I just left. I just left from talking to uh, Fort Bend County Precinct Four Supervisors. Uh, Chief Deputy Jimmy Evans is my uncle, and so I had the pleasure of speaking with his co workers, uh, sergeants, captains, lieutenants, all that, all that. Um, and it was so much fun. I talked about domestic violence because you know, my dad passed away, that was my uncle Jimmy's brother. So I had fun, y'all. Like, I miss speaking so much. Like, oh my God. I miss speaking. <laughs> I'm just ready to get back in there. Like, oh my God. That is where my life is. It just makes me so excited. Um, And it was like, at first, I don't know why I be underestimating myself like that, but at first it was like, Damn, sis, you finna go talk to a, a, a room full of officers, like, in full uniform. Yeah. And when I walked in, they was all sitting at the table. I'm glad I did get to sit down, though, because, oh, Lord, baby, this neat. But they were all, like, it was like a little round, kind of like a round table discussion type little deal. Um, And I walked in and seen all the officers in the uniforms. I was like, well, this is intimidating. <laughs> But y'all know me, I keep that same energy with, my sense of humor is really like this in real life. And when I speak, even though, you know, domestic violence is a serious topic, it is. Uh, but I still, you know, I, I'm humorous. Like I'll throw a story in there or say a funny statement or, you know, just, you gotta, that's the key to speaking for one. That's the key to relief, uh, release or relieve anxiety when you're speaking is for one, try like make it funny make it personable make it funny make it comfortable for you and comfortable comfortability for me is I crack jokes like I'm really just myself I know how to be professional when I'm talking about things um and I got so much good feedback from the officers like I was just like oh my god they love me I feel like there's one of them in front of me y'all is this my uncle for being county constable I know it's one of them in front of me. Is that Harrison? I feel like that's Harrison. I don't know if that's Harrison. That's definitely one of them because that's them, that's them trucks. Uh, oh, I didn't realize the radio was on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like catch up. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That was that was him pulling up next to me. But <laughs> look at all he was be because I'll be like, Harrison, don't give me no ticket. Don't do that. Don't do that. 
that'll be so funny if uh, I got pulled over by one of the people that I just saw. But they were absolutely amazing. Like, so they asked questions and it, I, we assume that, off, well, I know, I kind of assume that officers knew like statistics and stuff about domestic violence since they go through like training but then on the other hand i was like they probably didn't they ain't got real training like they just probably train how to respond to the situation but they don't know like what it is from a uh like from a human perspective like they don't know how to handle it in real life and and like oh, i gotta delete space again seriously um they don't know how to deal with it like that they just know this is what we do when we go to a domestic violence situation like two officers blah 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 like they don't know all that so and then they were excited to hear about it but they were shocked like they were like when i'm giving the statistics like people don't know like every uh every minute 20 people are victims of some sort some type of physical abuse and they were like what like they didn't know about one in four women one in five uh one in five men like they didn't know none of the statistics um and that kind of threw me a little bit. I'm like, y'all really don't know this stuff? Like, what are they teaching y'all? Clearly nothing. But, you know, like I said, they're trained to respond to them. They're not trained to know about them. So it was very informative. Um, they enjoyed it. They enjoyed me sharing my story. Um, damn, now I got to sit right next to Harrison and the goddamn... Uh, Oh, this is going to be fun. Whew, but. Yeah, they enjoyed my story. It was, I helped them. As <clears throat> long as I was able to do that. That's the part that matters. Uh, and then, it was, a, it was, let me, you know what, let me not, let me not. <laughs> let me not get y'all all that tea right quick. Uh, let me not get y'all all that tea. Uh, we gonna say that one for later, but let's just say it was a. They weren't like all old and grumpy and shit, cause you know some officers be all old and grumpy and don't want to be nowhere. But they were actually like majority of them was young. Um, it was a younger black woman in there, two younger black guys, uh, younger Hispanic women. Like it was a good mix to me. Um, and they were super nice. They were like paying attention, but I make my presentations to where they're not boring. Like that's the last thing I want. And cause I don't do that. What we do that at? I don't do boring presentations. Like girl, when I speak, I come with it. I come with that heat. <laughs> like I come with the heat. I text Christian. I said, killed it. She was like, I already knew. Um, and then, you know, I always try to incorporate a game or something. So I did like a little trivia game at the end where I gave them five questions to see if they can answer the questions from the presentation. And like whoever come up with it first and got it all right, they got a $25 Starbucks gift card. And so um, that was like super fun. Like it's like they're not, it's like they're officers, but they're not. Like it was so, it was just like me presenting to kids or like my regular people or whatever i guess i just kind of i've never spoken to officers before hold on this is my uncle hello man you did an awesome job well thank you unc you know they call and tell me oh oh she's so engaging oh she's so articulate she reminds us of you, you know? <laughs> Now they say, oh, yeah, we can see now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm back. Baby, my head, when I tell you my head is, yes, I'm in full stocking cap. Because that wig and them lashes had to come off. Do you hear me? Um, I don't know why I press record like I'm not sending an email. Um, Sending my follow-up email from the speaking engagement today. Okay, scissors are sent. Yeah, I got this sent. And I need to change some stuff. Uh, but yeah, so... Y'all know I'm always working. I need 
girl. Um, today was great. Today was for sure great. Um, it was, it feels so, it feels so good to get back to speaking. Oh my God. Um, speaking in person, I should say, I did some speaking, you know, virtually, um, but to actually be back in person speaking, like that is where my heart is. That is where my passion is, especially when it comes to talking about domestic violence, mental health, sex abuse, stuff like that. Like, oh my God, y'all, it was so fun. And, you know, at first I was like, oh my God, these police officers, they're going to be, they're going to be rude. They're they not going to respect me. They're going to be like assholes, but they really wasn't. First of all, my uncle don't play them games, and he's the chief deputy. But they were they were actually really, really cool. We had fun. We played a trivia game at the end. Like it was it was definitely it was different for me. Um let me take these glasses off because I hate that shadow. But I can't see when I take my glasses off. So um it was different for me. Um used to talking to teens and women and stuff like that, but to be able to talk to actual like officers and commanders at that like high ranking officers that was dope <laughs> like that was dope um i was able to educate them on a lot of domestic violence things uh and awareness things that they didn't know um things that they can take with them because again as officers they're trained to be officers and how to respond to domestic violence calls, but they don't know about actual domestic violence, um, how to treat a victim and the statistics on it, the fact that men are victims too, like all these things I was able to share the story about my dad. And again, you know, that's my, my uncle's brother. So I was able to get personal, um, and the feedback that I got, as y'all can see, my uncle called me right after uh, had to cut it off though because me and Unc be having our little conversation that ain't, that ain't y'all business but you know they were they loved my authenticity again y'all know like I tell y'all all the time that's that's how I am like I, I keep it real um, at all times I tell my story I have the same sense of humor that I have on here I have when I'm speaking it's just that of course it's more in a business way like uh, I'm articulate because people had a stereotype like oh she a black woman um that's from the hood or she ratchet or blah 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 like yeah i cuss i'm ratchet look at me look at look at look at <laughs> shit i am and is but i know how to i know who to be and how to be in certain situations like i I'm very intelligent and articulate, uh, my entrepreneur. So, you know, I gotta, I can't be ratchet all the time. And sometimes that shocks people. But, um, and then, especially being as young as I am and talking to older people, uh, especially being a, a woman, talking to men, like I've never did a speaking engagement or never said anything or, or talked about something I didn't touch everybody. It don't matter what age you are, don't matter what race you are, don't matter what gender you are, because it was very diverse. Um, all races, all genders, all ages. Um, so I think it was, it went very well. I hope to, you know, do more trainings with them in the future and, just trainings everywhere, just speaking more, like that's my ultimate goal. That's really what I wanna do is speak. I wanna travel the I wanna travel the world and, and be a motivational speaker and do trainings and tell people about domestic violence and sexual abuse and mental health and just all everything. Nonprofits, mentoring, like I whatever, whatever it is, that's what I wanna talk about. Um so that was that on that. I gotta I gotta delete some videos so I can clear some space, y'all, because I ain't got that much left. But today was great. Today was great. Oh my ears clean. <laughs> my ears collect wax real bad. I don't know what the deal be. But um 
that was my day, my little day with me vlog for me to actually get out the house and look presentable and do my thing. I went to tutor afterwards and then I came home and did some work. Finna do a little more and then tomorrow I will go. Oh, am I am I getting hungry? Oh, I hope not. Oh, yeah, my stomach growling. Damn. I don't feel like warming up no. I ate the rest of my chicken. Wait, no, I didn't. I don't like eating late though. My bad. I had one of the moments where I talked to myself. That happens. Um, damn, made me lose my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, tomorrow I go to the car lot to look at cars. Uh, let's hope I leave with one. <laughs> I finally, I'm done with the insurance company. Finally got my money from them, so I can go get me another vehicle. Uh, cause it's rental. I'm sick of it. Like I'm, I'm sick of it. Like take it back. I don't, I don't want. It cost me fifty six dollars to fill up that tank, baby. I ain't never spent more than twenty seven. Like what? Uh, uh y'all can have this back. I don't want this. Mm -mm, I don't want this. Y'all can have this. Um, and rentals are expensive anyway, so yeah, y'all can have all that. But so wish me luck tomorrow. Um, uh, I'll probably do another vlog if I have time on. Probably won't do one while I'm there because I'm going to obviously be busy shopping for cars. But uh, I will do a vlog and let y'all know what happened. Give y'all update. You know, let you know what's up. If I get the new whip, I'll show y'all the new whip. I miss my baby, though. But she went, she gone to a better place. The salvage yard. <laughs> <laughs> they better chop my baby up for parts. Um, But... You know, again, like I said, wherever I go, my grandma is with me. So, yeah, I, I stick to that. But, yeah, child, I'm about to go take me a shower so I can go to bed. I'm tired. My head hurting. Not yet, child, like I'm talking to. Girl, you too old ass. Get... Anyway, love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe at all times all the time play them video let them videos play i got 100 more hours till i reach my goal of a thousand before the end of november so i'm gonna need y'all to get on that hmm? i need y'all to do that for me i need you to let them videos roll just let them roll just hit play all you know if you want to go to sleep and cut the volume all the way down cut it on on your computer walk away uh you know all that you ain't you ain't gotta listen to me it's best if you do but if not then that's cool just let them play i need all that so, I will see y'all next time. And as always, love y'all and bye.